I decided that it was time to do something different. So uh, I went to school, and um, and the school taught me about platonic forms. The forms that Plato was named after, because he studied them for so long, he studied these forms. And so I studied them too. And basically I found out that they're called platonic solids. Well, they never seemed solid to me. They all seemed hollow. And so, I know it's funny, but really it just didn't seem like it was, they, were, they weren't like a rock. <coughs> they were open like an air. They could breathe. And so I started to study the inside of these forms. Okay? And I found out through a process of uh, a long time, and failure after failure, and so forth in science, I could not do it. I could not get a seven-sided form like I wanted, because I wanted to have equal surface areas. Like you know a cube has a square, and there are six squares, and they're all equal. That's what I wanted, but seven. Well, anyway, so failure after failure, I gave up the science, I went to my training. My training is, I'm an artist. That's how I was trained in school. I went to a good school, I'm working for an MFA. And uh, so I just went to my artistic training, and artistically I found the seven-sided form. <coughs> And then I took the artistic finding that I had and put it into science. So that's called spiritual science. <laughs> so I uh, eventually, you know, I started to integrate more and more, reading Ruth Steiner and so forth. And so finally I came up with a seven-sided form. And here it is. I'll show it to you here in bronze. Um, but I won't show you how I did it because I need to show you what this form is. Because... I've never seen it before, and you've never seen it before, because I've been here before. So this is it. And it's seven sides. This has never been here before. In all the thousands of years, 6,000 years, they've been studying platonic forms that we know of because of the rocks, and they've dated the rocks from Stonehenge. This form has never been here. Now, what's interesting about this form is this area here, which is a, we call a quadrilateral, which is four, and the area of the triangle, which is three, three and four, seven, are perfectly equal. And I'm not, I'm not talking just almost. I'm talking perfect. <laughs> I mean perfect. I mean, it was so close at one time that that one side was a teeny, teeny bit off. And I realized why, because I hadn't divided the line and the pencil line in half. When I divided the pencil line in half, it came from. So it has four triangles and three quadrilaterals. So, in the last ten years, that's all I've done. All I've done is study that thing. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to do is to find a significance. Because Rudolf Steiner says that human being can bring in new geometry, but it doesn't mean they understand it. And he's right, because of all, I didn't know what it was. So, what you're going to see is what it was, or what it is. <laughs>